Hi guys, today I will show you some fundamental statements from the DEX language by comparing them with the similar statements from the SQL language. In order to do that, I will be using DEX as a query language. Normally DEX is used as a functional language, meaning that you can create measures, calculations based on your Power BI data model. In order to present you the similarities between DAX and SQL, I will be using uh, DAX as a query language by using the statement evaluate. I will show you in a minute how I do this. Before I do that, I want to present how I will be using these uh, notions. On the SQL side, I will be using uh, the AdventureWorks uh, database from Microsoft and uh, the SQL Server uh, Management Studio. While on the DAX side, I will be using the same uh, AdventureWorks database, but a summary one uh, used for Power BI. And for uh, showing the statements, I will be using um, DAX Studio. For all these four uh, tools, I will be showing the links in the comments of this uh, video. So, we will start with the, the first statement, evaluate products. We press uh, and now we see the table products by using the statement evaluate in DAX. The similar statement in uh, SQL is select star from DIM product. Okay, we select it and execute. And now we see the DIM product table. As I have mentioned, uh, here in uh, SQL Server we have the full uh, database while in uh, DAX uh, Studio we have a shorter version of the database, meaning that we have fewer tables and uh, fewer rows. Then we go to the next uh, statement, uh, select top three from DIM product. We have this uh, result and now we go to the DAX Studio and we will see the equivalent statement which is evaluate top top n3 from the table products. We run it and we will see the, the results. As you can see here we have uh, only five tables in the shortened versions of the database. We go back to the SQL uh, Server database. You, you see how many more tables we have here. And we go to the next uh, statement where we introduce the clause where. Select top three, uh, star from dim product where dim product color is black. We execute it and we see that we only have uh, the top three uh, in black. We go to the DAX state similar statement, which is evaluate top n three, and here the equivalent for where in SQL is filter. And this filter function have first the first parameter is the table table product, and then the condition table product color is black. We run it by pressing uh, F5 and we see and we see that we only have uh, top three from uh, black. Next we will be adding uh, another condition in the WHERE clause in SQL using the AND uh, keyword. We execute it. Okay and now we have uh, top 5 with the status current and color black. We go to to the DEX equivalent and we see how in DEX we uh, have the AND 
expressed f5 and we ha and we have the the result status current back to sql now we, we will introduce the order by clause okay we will order this result after the english product name and we and we see now that they are ordered now we go to the dax statement and we see that we have here after the evaluate expression we have this order by product f5 okay and we have and we have it uh, ordered order after the product name then we introduce the group by statement in uh, sql so we have the sales order number and the sum of sales amount group by sales order number we execute it and we see that we have here the result let's see the similar statement from dax in dax in order to make this uh, group by aggregation we use the statement summarize columns we run it and we see here the result then we will see the join how it is equivalent in DAX here we see that we have uh, uh, left joined uh, FAC reseller sales with the dim sales territory okay let's run it Okay, you see sales territory and sum of sales these two um, are from different tables and now let's see how it is the the same join in uh, DAX actually in DAX the join is implicit because uh, as you know uh, in uh, DAX Power BI we um, link tables with relationships and this relationship being set we do not have to uh, use the statement of join okay let's run this and we have the similar result the numbers are different because the database database is uh, shorter okay and the last statement that i want to show you is um, is a left join double uh, left join with another table and also introducing uh, a filter the where clause where the territory group is North America let's execute it okay so we have he here only colors from North America and now in, in um, DAX in order to introduce the where clause we have the filter and this filter have this uh, syntax first we have to specify the table and then the condition table group equal North America let's run this and we have the similar uh, results so I hope you enjoyed this uh, short introduction in uh, DAX as a query language. If you liked it, please uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. See ya.